The Sony ZV-E10 is one of the best cameras that you can use as a webcam for live streaming or conference calls because it's so easy to do. However, there are some things you want to know about in order to do this correctly. And so in this video, I'll be showing you how to use the Sony ZV-E10 as a webcam and be sure to stick around because I'll share some of the best accessories that you wanna maybe invest in if you are using this as a webcam, whether with your laptop or computer. So let's get into it. This video is sponsored by StreamYard. This is our go-to platform for live streaming to YouTube and Facebook, especially when we have multiple people joining us on a stream. With an incredibly easy to use interface for doing cool transitions, bringing in text on the screen, and seamlessly bringing on guests. This is the perfect platform for the new and experienced creators alike. You can use the link that we have in the description below to get $10 off. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Takori with Think Media. Now, I would encourage you to have your ZVE10 with you so that you can follow along. Now, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go into your menu and then go to the star icon on the far right. This is the My Menu setting where you can customize this menu. And I find it best to actually put shortcuts here with the Sony ZVE10. And then you're gonna hit Add Item. Then you're gonna scroll over to page 12 and then go to USB Streaming and then select the middle button and then add it to that location. Now you've added the option to turn your camera into webcam mode because that's what you gotta do in order to use it with the USB. Once you've added the USB streaming onto the custom menu, I wanna encourage you to go back into the menu and actually change the overheating sensitivity to high. And that's gonna give you a warning message, just hit okay. And then I'm going to actually go back into my Sony, go to the menu and turn on USB streaming. The next thing you're gonna do is plug in the Sony ZV-E10 into your computer or laptop using the USB cable that it either came with or maybe you have an extra one lying around. We'll also post links down in the description below. Now I encourage you to open up a software on your computer or laptop, whether it be Zoom or maybe QuickTime, any software that would require you to select a webcam. So in this case, we'll use Zoom. Once the camera has USB streaming turned on and the camera plugged into your computer or laptop, you should now be able to select it as a webcam and then you can see yourself super crispy clear out of your Sony ZV-E10 and you'd be ready to go. Now, if this doesn't work right away, I would just encourage you to check the mode you have the camera in and make sure it's in video mode. And then if you wanna change the shoot mode, you can actually either leave it on intelligent auto, which is great and automatic feature that will just gauge whatever lighting condition you're in, or you could put it in manual and set your settings that way. I kind of like doing that because it locks in your settings uh, as opposed to changing the exposure when you start moving around and things like that. But I just wanna share a couple of my favorite things to use with the Sony ZV-E10 as a webcam. And I would definitely say the first thing is a continuous power adapter so I don't have to worry about battery. Using this camera on Zoom conference calls or maybe live streams and things like that, uh, the last thing I wanna do is have my camera die and then not have a battery to put in. So having one of these is definitely key and we'll post a link to our best recommended one down in the description below. The next thing I would encourage you to look into is a microphone upgrade. And honestly, you can go with a super cheap solution that plugs right into your camera because you can actually select your audio source as the ZV-E10 through the USB as well. So you don't need to use an external mic uh, or an external USB mic if you use a ZV-E10 as a webcam. You can if you want, but that is something I would definitely recommend you investing in because not only look good, but you can also sound good. And then the final accessory I would recommend you to get is to actually find out by watching my accessories video for the Sony ZV-E10 so that you can learn how you can maximize this camera and get the most out of it with the best accessories. So be sure to check out that video by clicking or tapping the screen and I can't wait to see you in a future video. Peace.